Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. Let's go into domino production and how it works and how to find it and get you better at fewest moves. So a couple things, domino reduction is kind of extension on edge orientation where you're just getting the cube into a state where you can more easily find pairs and match things up. And for some time, Domino reduction was used, but it, it didn't seem always that great until people started extending upon it and doing half turn reduction and just basically finishing the puzzle instead of hoping that it works and hoping you don't have other issues going on. It's not anything super crazy. It's kind of like orienting edges and corners. Let's go through it. I'm gonna take the same scramble I have in the past couple of videos and we're gonna start with that. Okay, so first let's just start with edge orientation. And I did the EO video where I talked a lot about F and B. I'm gonna do that to start here, but just like I mentioned there, you wanna be comfortable orienting edges on all three axes and then doing domino reduction on any of the other two. So for the edge orientation, I'm gonna do D, F prime, U2, B. And that oriented all of the edges on the front and back. So for domino reduction, we are gonna do this other axis. We're gonna orient the edges for R and L and also the corners. And what that's gonna look like is that the top and bottom are only gonna have white and yellow on that face. And we could solve the whole rest of the cube by only doing 180 degree turns on these sides. And you wanna be comfortable doing U and D so you'd have orange and red. And I know people that struggle with that a lot and they actually rotate the puzzle and scramble it in a rotated state to help them visually see it. What we need to do is just like with orienting edges, we want four bad edges. Let's check here. So I'm going to look for green and blue. So we've got one and two, three and four. I'm gonna look for red and orange, but that one's okay. That one's okay. So four bad edges, one, two, three and four. Four. Something that's nice about domino reduction is that the number of bad edges on the top and bottom will equal the same amount on the front and back. And I know some people, they'll, they will just look at the middle, the E slice and say one, two bad edges, four total. And some people write down that they had two bad edges when they mean four because it's abbreviated kind of, I don't like that. Four bad edges, one, two, three, four. And then we have to look at the corners. We want four bad corners. One, two, three, and I'm looking for anything that's not white or yellow. Four, five, six, ooh, too many. So I need to first convert this to only have four bad edges and four bad corners. So what I can do is I can set this up. So I'm going to solve two of the edges while also messing up two, so that doesn't change. But also solving a couple of the corners. So if I do D prime R, one, two, three, four bad corners, and I still have only four bad edges. And here we are going to set this up so all four bad edges are on the same side and all four bad corners. Now this is not probably going to be the most efficient way. I'm just doing this off the top of my head right now and didn't write it down because I want it to feel a bit more natural, but Normally you would look through a bunch of different variations and see what might work or just ditch it and be like, this domino reduction is gonna take way too long to set up. But what I'm gonna try to do right now is make it so each edge has corners on either side of it that will have white and yellow on the side. So when I turn it, when I do the 90 degree turn, it orients them. So as an example, I'll do R2, B2. And you can see I took one of those edges lined up that corner with it. So when I do a 90 degree turn, it's going to orient the corner. Then let's do R2, U, B2, which finished that one. I could do U2, R2, L2, U2, D prime. And what I did now, I'm gonna turn this puzzle around so you can see. Bad edge, bad edge, bad edge, Bad edge, four bad edges on the same side. Four bad corners, all with those white and yellow facing out. So now when I do a 90 degree turn, we now have domino reduction. So with all that said, here's how to practice. We'll do, we'll do the right and left right now and I do a 90 degree turn. And then 
just do 180 degrees on every other side. I guess you can do a 90 degree turn top and bottom. And that's going to keep it where you only have one, two, three, four bad edges and four bad corners. And then practice setting things up. So that way you can solve it. And once you do that, do it again. Maybe try it from a different angle. Do front and back, 90 degree turn, scramble everything up. And ooh, this is a really nice one. Actually, yep, this is good. There we go. And I set it up right there. There are situations that can be very awkward um, that might feel like it's stuck and that uh, you can ask definitely for help because there are things that don't seem obvious that are actually very easy to, to finish or short to finish, but might take a little bit of guidance to lead you to there. So let's talk about some tips with finding domino reduction. So the first thing is don't feel that you are stuck with just those four corners and those four edges. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna mess up here and right here I have one, two bad edges and two bad corners. And if I do an R move, it solved those two corners and those two edges, but messed up two more corners and two more edges. So you can basically create a different 4E, 4C, or 4C, 4E. Usually I think they say C first. You can just create a different version by solving or messing up certain pieces. One thing that can get you kind of stuck is feeling like, well, these are the four I need to solve. How can I solve those? One example of the things that seem might be confusing but are actually not too bad. If you look right here, I've got one, two, three bad edges and four bad corners. And my other bad edge is back here. Well, how do I how do I get that here without messing other stuff up, right? Well, if I do, let's say, a D2 and then F2. I still have all those there really nicely because what happened is this corner and this corner just swapped while putting that edge in a place we want. So having those at the opposite spots on the puzzle can help move things around without really messing up the pattern you already have. The other thing is you don't always need to look for 4C, 4E. You could look for 4C, 2E, 4C, 6E, those are very common. Although 4C, 2E is a little bit easier to look at where you have four bad corners, only two bad edges, and I'll show you why. So 4C, 2E, what you're going to try to set up is where you have your bar you need to orient. And then the other bad edge that will be in the E slice is on the opposite side of the puzzle with those corners facing out. So you have corner, edge, corner, corner, edge, corner. And here you could do R prime D to R. Or you could even do L prime F to L. And then my favorite is when you have 3C to E. It's like an, it's like an F to L insert. One, two, three bad corners and two bad edges. Or like that. Three bad corners, two bad edges. And again, you're setting it up to where there's four, but if you see three corners and two bad edges, you can just set that up. And again, practice that. So using this puzzle, I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to scramble it. And then we can set it up. So let's see here. I've got edge, corner, corner, edge. So I could do... There we go. So now I've set this up where I have an edge, edge. That pairs that up. And now I have four bad edges and four bad corners. And that's all. That might seem kind of fast and confusing. It's hard to see through a video. There is a website that is the FMC Workshop, which you can use, as well as VFMC. And both those are really nice visualizations 
where you can move things around and it'll identify pieces for you so you don't need to always look at the puzzle like that. When I was getting into domino reduction, what helped me out was not doing scrambles, just practicing like that because you start to see those different patterns and, and visualize where pieces need to go and you start finding these tricks for it. But a lot of it just takes practice and for domino reduction, if I am just going from EO and doing it randomly, it might take about 12 moves on average. If I'm doing a solve, what I will do is find one that's only eight moves or less. If I can find one like that, that's gonna help me out. So depending on your level, you might just take whatever domino reduction you can find. And if we were to stop here, you would solve the puzzle as best you can only using 180 degree moves on the um, sides and you can use 90 degree turns here and block build as best you can and things just start to often fall into place things will start to fall into place but there could be different issues you fall into from domino reduction so if you are doing domino reduction I highly recommend you stay tuned and watch the half turn reduction video that then will turn into floppy reduction and although you know, you don't always need all of that. Sometimes things do just fall into place. If you are doing fewer moves right now, this might feel like it's gonna take longer to identify and your, your results are going to be worse. For most people that start trying this and get comfortable with it, if anything, the times become more consistent. And I'm gonna talk about this when I go to half turn reduction, but once I started doing this, you can see I charted out a lot of my solves from when I started, missed a lot of them. I didn't always put everything in here, but a lot of them are here. And after hundreds of solves, you can see right when I started doing domino reduction, half turn reduction and everything did start getting a little better, but also got more consistent. I wasn't getting huge ranges of things, but hopefully this helps. Let me know any of your thoughts, questions, or comments down below. Hit like, subscribe for more content in the future. And as always, keep following SpeedCube Review for more news and reviews.